talking about backbending, right? So backbending is kind of a trick question or a trick statement because you really don't bend when you backbend. You more or less lift an arc. A forward bend tends to bend, but your back doesn't bend like that. Your back won't bend at that angle, so it's not really a back bend. One of the other things that people don't seem to understand about back bend is that when you're doing a back bend, you're actually stretching the front of your body, not the back of your body. So if you tend to have back pain, it is not due to a stiff back when you're doing a back bend. When you have pain in a forward bend, that's usually due to your back. Right? So back bends for the front, forward bends for the back. Also, when you're doing a back bend, or back bending, one of the key words you may hear in the video is lift. Each back bend, whether it be an upward dog or a back bend or an advanced back bend, such as Kapotasana, the quality is lifting. You're always lifting your body into a bend. You're never pushing your hips forward or collapsing into a bend. Now, people who are very flexible can totally get away with that. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. But for us mere mortals, we want to make sure that there's always a quality of lift so that you're an arc into your bend. You'll hear more about that in the video. So enjoy. As always, find someone who's going to watch out for you, not someone who just wants to tell you what you should be doing. All right, enjoy. Urdhvadhanurasana, back bending. So again, after you jump through, you exhale and you lay down. Then you'll bend your knees next to your hips and hands by your ears. What we're looking for is that the hips and the chest come up at exactly the same time. What we tend to do, or what's most commonly done, is as people do the back bend, if you watch her body, all the weights moving towards her legs. Stay down. See, all the weight, if you look at her hand, all the weight's in her fingertips. What we're trying to emphasize is that the weight stays here. As we move the elbow back, you can see this part wants to lift up. Okay? We don't want the elbows flying out. Now, if you realize that this position already is too hard for you, there's many people who can't hold this then this should be your back bend. A lot of times, put your hands on the floor, lift up your hips. This is the common adjustment or the common, if somebody can't bend back, do a back bend, this is what they commonly do. Right? This doesn't help the problem because we need the chest to be lifted. So we need to find the lift through here. So if you're finding that this position already is hard enough for you, then this is where you should stop. Again, you should be in a class and the teacher should advise you accordingly. 